I've been a parent for 29 years, have put two daughters through Johnson County Schools. My youngest daughter is currently a junior at a private school since the optional mask was flipped. She attended Clayton High School for the last two years, and we loved it there. In all the years we've had kids in your schools, we never felt the need to go to a school board meeting. Main reason that is is because we trusted you, believed you were looking out for our kids. Unfortunately, that opinion has shifted greatly with all the recent mask mandates and ridiculous quarantine rules, just to name a few. So here we are, divided, frustrated, tired, worried, and fighting for what we feel is right. As you have seen, you now have an army of parents that are fighting for the God-given freedoms of not only their children, but as parents. As parents, it's our job to care for our kids, to ensure they have an education, health care, food, shelter, and love. As parents, it's our job to protect our kids and to be their voice when, they're, when it's silenced. This is why we're here today. We are their voice. We are speaking loud for all of you to hear us. We are standing in, if you were standing in my place today, I wonder what you would feel as a parent knowing you had to be forced to take a stand just to have the right for your kids to attend school freely without restrictions with masks or fear of being shut down daily or worried what you would do if schools went back virtual or even worse if they mandate a vaccine that hasn't been thoroughly tested or proven. I would like to think if you were in my place, you too would stand up for your kids, yourself and the community you call home. Our kids are truly the losers in all of this. They've had no choice, but you, all of you have a choice. And I, along with many other parents, are asking you to think about what is truly best for our kids and not to give in to the special interests of third parties that influence your decision making. I know my daughter isn't attending your public school this year, but as a local business owner, taxpayer, I'm helping to fund schools, your salaries, teachers, to name a few. Therefore, I have a vested interest in what happens in our school system. I believe this is how the majority of us parents feel. Despite how awful this year has been, it has been a learning experience. It's truly opened our eyes to the incredible corruption throughout our government that has spilled into our local governments as well. It's, an, it's ignited a movement among everyday people that's only growing stronger. We are watching you closely. We are taking elections more seriously, showing up to vote, run for office, do our own research, and not just trust what is being told for us. We will attend and speak out at meetings, be active in our kids' school, and more supportive to our hardworking teachers. We will no longer be on the sidelines, allowing the powers that be to dictate what they feel is best for our kids. We are taking back our control. As a parent, I will continue to teach my kids love and respect. Everyone deserves to be loved and accepted, no matter their skin color, religion, or identity. This should be taught at home, not in the classroom. I will continue to do everything in my power to ensure they are protected and, fight and fought for. That's my job. I'm their parent. You're not. We're not going to go away. We're not going to. And we're never going to give up the fight to protect our God-given rights. Thank you.